COSA, the Central Ontario Standard Bread Association, proudly serving Ontario horse people with integrity and accountability. Collaborative, supportive, helping to ensure a vibrant harness racing industry, lifetime membership is free and there are many benefits. Become a new member today. COSA, representing the interests of horse people racing at Ontario racetracks. To find out more, visit COSAonline.com. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Freight District, London, Ontario. Half mile harness racing action here in the Forest City. Uh, mild conditions today, uh, right around the freezing mark. I'm your announcer, Shannon Sugardo, with you setting up the action tonight. We've got all 10 featured on HPI. The first three, TVG, uh, pick three, play right up front. So, first three races featured on the TVG network south of the border. Expecting some very nice pools through the early going this evening. Let's get a look at that TVG pick three right up front in the opener. Always a guaranteed pool with a low take in that first race. We're on the pace. Deep as the ball in that opening lag. Uh, Jack Rabbit Jody, he came from nowhere to show up in third last time out. He doesn't get away uh, all that great. Of course, it was the added distance. So he had the rail last time out. He's showing getting away eighth at the quarter mile. A little bit tough to get away well at that added distance when leaving inside. I've watched lots of horses throughout this race meet uh, leaving from post six and seven uh, sitting up close when going a mile and a sixteenth. So Jack Rabbit Jody back to a mile distance with that rail advantage should be one to think about there. Amazon Dragon at a post two, Kenny Joe, Sobble Play, Sports Jacket. I got five of them to get me through the opener. Over to race number two, the two Vegas mocks. Or number six, Gody Darlian at a juicy seven to one. He's the only one on the page showing sub two minute speed. So think about it. Over in the third race, looking to complete with the number two, Cool Rock. Not sure if I've seen this horse in London during my time. He's in from Woodbine Mohawk Park. He's in from a long layoff as he went winless through 2019 and uh, definitely facing easier there. We're calling race number three the senior's pace. It's for 12-year-olds and upward. A Stonebridge scout at a post three. The sixth Lom and Rain finds a nice spot as well. Those are the three I'm going to back to complete the early pick three. Six dollars even on a 20-cent ticket the way that looks on the screen. There's an early pick four that will start up in that third race. And again, we've bumped up these guaranteed pools on our pick four plays through the uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday cards. $7,500 now, the guaranteed pool on our pick fours. Let's get a look at the third race. Race is three and seven to begin pick four. So stay with the same three to open it up. Cool Rock, Stonebridge Scout, Law Men Rain. Those are the logical choices for me. And over into race number four, there is a key scratch in here. Uh, myself, I believe Rod, Lou, even Terry Wilson had the, the six in race number four selected as a best bet. So number six, let's get piss pickled is a, uh, yeah, late scratch coming out. Take out six from race number four. Alrighty, so that's gonna leave me with a one, two, five, and eight. Fifth race, we're gonna use three, Mr. Mock Jimmy and a five, Levi's Day, a couple of scratches in there as well. Take out the seven and eight from tonight's fifth race and getting over to race number six, here's your added distance. Race of a mile and a sixteenth. Full field of nine thus far for the super high five play. Going to try one, five, seven, and eight to complete tonight's early pick four. We're in for $19.20 on a 20 cent play. Race seven will be starting up tonight's late pick four. And here we go. Three deep. Opening lag. We're on the trot for this. Number three, American Pageant. The five, secretly flashy. And number six, Mac and Caps. Coming out of the red hot Tyler Borth barn, definitely one to consider there. Eighth race, probably your most uh, wide open uh, race of the night and a good spot maybe to hit the all button. Hoping for some value to show up in race number eight, wide open in there. 
Ninth race, we're going to chase after the five, Maracaso, who, we, who will be trying for his third straight victory at the preferred two level here in London. And the Rev comes in to London tonight out of Woodbine Mohawk Park. He's been very sharp for trainer Greg McNair. Alfie Carroll picks up the drive on number six, the Rev, to contest our top class pacing event, race number nine. Tenth race, I'm not bad. He's got an edit line to be announced from uh, Friday night here in London. It was an easy winner. They double entered him. I'm thinking double entered because he found a couple of easy spots. I think I'm not bad can come right back in the finale. If not, my plan B in there is number seven, the regulator, picking up driver Austin Sori. A 20 cent pick four play, the way it's looking on the screen, $19.20. My best long shot play in the night. I didn't have to look too far for this one. It's in race number two. And I've got the six, Gody Dorleans. And right now I'm going to put a big circle around them because uh, you know what? There's nothing in there showing sub two minute speed other than him. And it's been in his last couple of starts. And here's where it gets interesting. There's a missing line to announce. February 1st over Flambro was a third place finisher in 158. He paced his own back quarter there in 28 and 3. I've said it many times, Flambro is quicker uh, than London this time of year, but to be showing 58 speed in his most recent start, when you look down the page and there's just nothing there, showing sub two minute speed. If you can get anything close to seven to one, you're not gonna get it, but uh, you know what? Even three or four to one on number six, Cody D'Orleans, race number two, well worth chasing after there tonight. My best long shot play on the evening. Let's go to a best bets segment now for Rod and Terry, guest handicapping tonight, Rod Adams Jr. for his best bet on the night. He went to race number three, chasing after three, Stonebridge Scout, big time class relief, he says will likely be on or near the lead. It's going to be Mark St. Louis teaming Stonebridge Scout for Rod Adams Jr. and his best bet. Terry Wilson in race number four, he did have the six. Let's get pickled circled up as his best bet. Again, a key scratch. So I've given uh, his next best choice in there as the best bet, Edom Sports Baby. Uh, very easy winner there last time out. Was pacing off the screen to win in two minutes, two fifths as a heavy favorite. Good to go again, likely. Number eight, Edom Sports Baby there in tonight's fourth race. A best bet selection for Terry Wilson. For myself, I'm going to flip on over to race number five. And Levi's Day, what a gutsy effort for him last time out to finish second best. He is always in the hunt. Austin Sori stays on. Very sharp. Should be a factor. And for Lou, he's gone to the finale, the high five finale. Going outside here. To number seven, the regulator did show the early speed last time out, though he did park through a quick quarter mile over a sloppy track. The regulator, don't be afraid to play him from post seven. I mentioned earlier on the show, those outside posts at the end of this mile on the 16th, they can get away well. If they've got gate speed, this fella's got it. The regulator, Austin Sori, picks up the drive. Look for the early speed again from seven, the regulator. The best bet selection for the hashtag Lunos, a.k.a. Lucerella. Speaking of Lou, team director for Team to the Moon. Alrighty, the team is racing in support of Breast Cancer Awareness 2020. Uh, we'd like to thank all that have come on board for another season, those joining up for the first time, those who would like to join up and race in the part for uh, Team to the Moon in support of Breast Cancer Awareness 2020. Contact team director, Lou Sorella. He'd love to hear from me. He's easy to find on Facebook or Twitter, so give it some thought and uh, join up for a wonderful cause. Again, we're all part of the fight here. Breast Cancer Awareness for Team to the Moon 2020. It's going to do it for the pregame show. Pub night, top of the fair, no reservation required. Table still available for top of the fair Tuesday. That's the second Tuesday of every month, so that'll come up next week. Top of the fair Tuesday. Of course, the theme would be the Valentine's Day angle. So uh, contact top of the fair at westernfairdistrict.com or email. Well, through email, that is, or dial us up using the extension 252 to book a reservation now for our next top of the fair Tuesday, that being a week from tomorrow. All 10 on HPI, the first three on TVG. And of course, Survivor Tuesday back tomorrow. Always, plea, always free 
to play on minor on track. You know what? I'm just about done. I'm going to trip over this tongue sooner or later, so I better wrap it up. Good luck on this Monday. We're going to post at 6.15 Eastern.